Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the new deleted scenes that have been released, which is very exciting because it's obviously the first Supergirl piece of content we've had in a long time. Recently there hasn't been any promotion for Supergirl in the Flash film, so there's not been that much to talk about in regards to Supergirl actual news. So I'm very excited to do this video today. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so Supergirl is releasing its final season, aka season 6, on the 8th of March and so that is not very long from now currently it is the 5th of March so in three days time it's coming out on blu-ray and DVD it's available online now and comicbook.com and Screen Rant released some exclusive deleted scenes that will be featured in the blu-ray and DVD so I'm gonna be sure to break down pretty much most of the deleted scenes when they come out so I'm gonna try and get my hands on it pretty soon, like try and pre-order it. So we will have breakdowns of those deleted scenes, like what they kind of mean, like what did we miss out on, were they similar? Because actually, sometimes you'll realize, especially with these, we've seen similar scenes in the actual episodes when they aired, but these were kind of like alternate scenes that maybe would have come like at around the same point as another scene or after another scene or just later in the episode that kind of reiterated a point or kind of overextended on something so these scenes aren't absolutely necessary and that's probably why they are deleted scenes they weren't used in the end because at the end of the day the CW has a runtime of about 45 minutes per episode because they have like 50 minutes of ads throughout an entire hour so they have limitations and if they film more there's going to be more deleted stuff naturally and so they choose what they like. But the links are going to be in the description below to the three deleted scenes that have been released online. Like I said, two come from official sources and one's actually just been released on Twitter. So I'll leave the link to the Twitter one in the description below as well. But the first scene we're going to be talking about was released by Screen Rant. And that is of one of the early episodes of Supergirl Season 6. So not like right at the start of the season. But in fact, it was episode 7 of season 6, and it's a scene featuring Alex, Kelly, and Brainy. But mainly, it's about Alex and Kelly. So, as the scene starts, basically what happens is Alex is blaming herself for what's happening right now. If you guys remember, we had actually a very similar scene, and I, the way this concludes is very similar to what actually happened in the episode. And so she didn't go into containment time and there's wailing sirens going off, the phantoms are all around and basically they're screwed. They're trying to get Kara back from the phantom zone is what's up. However, Alex blames herself and then she goes to open the airlock by shutting herself into the room. And it's at that point where Kelly goes up and is like, surely there's another way. And Alex is like, no, there's no other way. And so she makes a crack in the back and the air starts coming in and it's just temporary VFX because like I said this wasn't a finalized scene. I think there is a very similar scene to what we have because I remember there was one shot of Alex flying out and I know she blamed herself quite a lot so I think this one was like fairly similar. I don't think it's like a big miss for this episode and so she wants to go out of the airlock and sacrifice herself in order to draw the phantoms away so, you know, it's either about saving one person or the other, and so she sacrifices herself. And this was in the episode, do you guys remember, where the phantoms were all around, everyone was getting infected, and it was told through, like, many different perspectives of our characters. And so, obviously, Alex going out of the ship isn't a real thing. So you can check out this scene in the description below if you go to Screen Rant's website. It's actually quite a good scene. But for now, let's move on to the next scene. This is coming from comicbook.com, who was given the exclusive of this scene. And so this is from episode 10 of season 6, so three episodes after that episode. So Nia and her mum are together. It's kind of a big Nia episode, if you guys remember. And so Nia isn't able to use her powers properly. She's not able to properly master it in this clip. And so her mum is here in the dream world. And basically, her mum explains that her gift is great. And that it's a blessing, but it's also a curse in terms of Nia's strong willingness. And so she needs to be able to let go of her inner conflicts and align with her true nature in order to be able to do what she's trying to do. I don't remember exactly what type of power she's trying to master, 
but at the end of the clip she's able to do it and she's able to kind of transport to the location that she wanted to get to and so I really like these Nia scenes I liked them last season I liked them since Nia was introduced and I thought Nia was a great character in the final season of Supergirl especially I loved the episode where her and Brainy go back in time and they meet the mid -Vale versions of Kara and Alex. Those were two of my favourite episodes of last season. But we also had the return of Nia's sister who she mentions in here. Basically she's like, oh maybe she should have become Dreamer because I'm not powerful enough, I'm not good enough. And obviously Nia has always had these doubts about herself. But what her mum is saying is actually right. And thankfully she gives her this advice so she's able to properly succeed in being a really good Dreamer. And so, I would really like to see Neo return to the Arrowverse at some point. I know Nicole is shooting a film right now, so it's not going to be like right away. But if she does come back, I feel like it's going to happen at some point decently soon. Like, not such a long way in the future. Maybe the next big crossover event. I could definitely see Neo coming back in the same vein that like Alex came back in Armageddon. Or Black Lightning came back in Armageddon. Similar to that. Okay, so the final scene that was released online, I'm going to leave it in the description below. This is probably my favorite one. So this is of Supergirl, so Melissa, and Esme. And so Supergirl lands, it's really cool, it's like very kind of slow motion, very smooth landing, and Esme is like, cool landing, and then she smiles, and it's basically a very sweet conversation between the two of them, because Esme, in this clip, just prior to it, had used... Kara's super hearing because remember her powers is she can basically inherit people's powers who are around her and so she listens in on Kara and Alex fighting you guys remember they had quite a few big fights towards the end of the season I don't know what specific episode this is from but if you go back and find the episode where they're fighting together that is the episode where this was supposed to go and so Kara explains how her powers are a big part of who she is Although it sometimes in the past and in the present has made her life harder because you know she's had to live this kind of double life where she's Kara, where she's Supergirl and when she was younger she had to suppress her powers and that's why in season 1 episode 1 in the pilot episode when she used her powers for the first time it was so much of a relief because she's been holding it in all this time. And so even though it's a big part of who she is and now it's definitely a big part of her identity because at the end of the season you had the reveal to the world that Kara is Supergirl so she is now one and the same so her being Supergirl having those powers is a huge part of her life. Then Kara also goes on to explain that keeping her powers secret is how she was just raised and that was because of her adoptive parents and the fact that they had some run-ins in the past with like Superman and with different aliens and so they kind of know what's going on also Jeremiah eventually joined the DEO so they know those protocols and they kind of live by those protocols because that's how they thought they could best protect Kara to try and fit her into normal reality with other normal humans from Earth. However, that isn't the right thing, especially nowadays in Subigo and how they've depicted the world changing with a lot of aliens coming out and being like, yeah, I'm an alien, like deal with it. Obviously, there was some big backlash in season four, especially with the Agents of Liberty. But in general, being an alien on Earth isn't as big of a deal as it was back then when Supergirl and Superman first arrived because they weren't widely known. But now it's pretty much widely known that there is lots of aliens living among humans. And so Esme asks if she should keep her powers secret. And then Kara replies rightfully so that you should just trust your mums to know what's best and so Alex and Kelly are going to be the ones to decide whether or not Esme, when she grows up, is she going to be openly a person with powers? Or is she going to pretend that she's like a normal human just like Kara did when she was younger and also like Clark did as well. So there's that whole thing that is a big deal in DC Comics in general because having a secret identity is such an important thing and it's been made a huge deal out of also in the Arrowverse because it's always the big problem of okay so if you come out and say oh I am Superman if Clark came out that could put his family at risk and so same thing for Esme if Esme was out just as an alien it could put her at risk and if she ever became a superhero 
and her identity was known to the world, some villains would potentially target the people that she loves because they can make those connections pretty easy. And so that was a big thing towards the end of the season when Kara was coming up and deciding whether she would reveal her identity as Supergirl or not. She had to take everything into account and that was like a big conflict in the past with Lena because she didn't tell one of her best friends that she was Supergirl, she was an alien in general. Like she got extremely mad when she found out and there was like a season long conflict between them. So that pretty much does it for my analysis and breakdown of these scenes. You guys, please be sure to go watch the scenes because they are really good scenes. Obviously I'm doing my best to describe the scenes and break them down in the context of the episode and just what you know each one kind of means however watching them is the best way to do it and I do have to say the Supergirl and Esme one is my favorite even though I like the Neo one and I like the Alex and Kelly one but the Alex and Kelly one is very similar to what we had in episode 7 so it's nothing like crazy to me I wasn't shocked when I watched it but when the Supergirl and Esme one popped up for the first time I was like huh yeah we definitely haven't seen this so that got me super excited because we've seen iterations of the other scenes but there's gonna be plenty more as Supergirl releases its final season on Blu-ray and DVD on March 8th. You can watch the season and buy it digitally now. However, go pre-order it online to be able to access the exclusive deleted scenes, featurettes, interviews that are on the DVD or Blu-ray because they normally aren't actually included with the online package. So that's why they kind of give you that incentive to try and buy the physical release but it should be available to pre-order now and you can get it in shops when it comes out and right after this video I think I'm going to try and pre-order mine so I can get my hands on the deleted scenes and we can talk about it when it releases in about three days time so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new so you don't miss any future videos also, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see.